Folks at home, folks at home, you might be wondering what that rat looking thing is doing in our pond. Don't worry, that's just Milo. <laughs> we got him shaved. Milo, say hello to the YouTube community. You better watch out, buddy. Look at Bonnie down there eyeing you. Let me fix the lens here. Oh yeah. Bonnie checking out that tongue. He's not too happy about it. It is spring here in Alabama and this video is probably going to be all over the place because I'm happy to announce that Sarah, our baby girl, is turning one years old. So we're going to have her birthday party, let her do the whole smash cake deal, and we're probably going to boil some crawfish. You'll get to see a little bit of that. But if you're new to the channel, this is our biggest pet bass, Bonnie, and Clyde hanging out over there in the Clyde cave like always. I just stocked the pond up with a lot of golden shiners, so they're fat and happy. We'll probably get you some underwater footage here before the end of the video. That also brings up another idea. Well, I may not I may not give away the secret just yet, but before the end of the video, we're going to be doing some pond upgrades, and there's a really big reason for doing that that I know you guys are going to love. Let's just say it's going to let you see a lot more of this bass pond whenever you want to. So let's go ahead and roll into the festivities, and I will be showing more feeding clips and underwater shots of the pond here in a little bit. All right, we're cleaning out our bait well, and Liz is calling for us to up our crawfish population. She's rebuilding our little intake valve area with some rocks to kind of build it up. That way when the minnows die, they don't get sucked in there. Look, this is where one of the crawfish hangs out right there in the drain hole. That's the, that's Cheeto. No, that's Chester. Chester the Cheeto. There's and then, he's right up in move there. that rock so we can see Heisenberg. People have been asking about him. <laughs> he stays he's, around the... Yeah, he's hiding out. But there's Heisenberg for you that have been asking about them. So we're gonna build this back up and increase the crawfish population. All right, I told y'all I was gonna have to up our crawfish population in the bait well. Look at these giants. We got some lobsters in here. Holy cow, look at that. So I can't put one that size in there because he might eat Heisenberg. This is probably the biggest. That's one of the biggest crawfish I've ever seen. Even old Larry the Lobster wasn't that big. Rest in peace, Larry. Let's see if we can spot a good one. I think that's a good one. There we go. That's perfect size. Don't need to name him. Let's see if we can get one more. I'd like to get a red one, but all the red ones are giants. This one's a little frisky. Oh, goodness. There we go, that's old Red Claw right there. like them too. Let's get one more. There we go. Those three will do. Let's go put those in the bait well. And folks, if you're interested in seeing another crawfish bowl, we put one out last year, but I can put another one out showing all of our secret recipes and how we cook them. Leave a comment below and we'll do another crawfish bowl. Look at them claws. There we go. You survived. You're not going in the pot. But instead, you get to go in the bait well. I got the light out that way we can see them. <laughs> the red claw one's on his back. Looks like he's working his way over. Uh oh. Look right down there. That's where Cheeto hides out. Chester. Sorry. I'm going to have to flip this over. Let's use the light to get down there. Help this guy. So right now those are going to be the three amigos. Y'all come up with a little bit better name for the new three crawfish. But that should help us with our dead minnow issue. Don't make any sense. There we go! Oh, got him. Let's go! <laughs> That's a pile of goodness right there, homemade ice cream. 
Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Wow. Sarah's birthday party crawfish bowl. What do you think, Sarah? It's your first crawfish bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. Ooh. Oh. 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 O
this one is on the other side of the pond and kind of pointing back this direction. All these others are going to be pointing straight up. Got one right here and another one right in front of that big bush right there. So before I bury the cables, I'm going to make sure I like the locations of them. That ought to take care of all the perimeter lighting. You see Clyde finally came out of the cave. Bonnie up here with him. Oh, and just a heads up, if any of you guys are wondering Bonnie's spawning status, we had a really big cold front hit. She pulled off that bank. She was trying to nest up there. She kind of pulled off. You can see she's trying to work her way back up there. We're finally starting to get some warmer weather, so I expect her to be spawning here really soon. Alrighty, folks. The lights just cut on. Let's go check them out before it gets too dark, because when it gets really dark, you can't see anything. Oh, I definitely like the waterfall one. That is really cool you got bonnie just shot up here you can't really see her that's pretty cool right there right on that oh that one's probably the best i don't know that you can see any of this stuff good on camera but that light right there really stands out because that's one of our biggest plants the one that i'm not sure is doing that great is that one right there we may have to move it but this light right here is new and i'm hoping that that one is going to help out the underwater and that one's going to help out the underwater because we've got camera here and camera over here but i'm definitely digging the waterfall lights it's going to look even better at night before it gets too dark i want to do a quick before and after i got liz over here you can't even see her you can only see her white t-shirt but liz go ahead and unplug it so we can see the before <laughs> she's struggling no, you just pull straight out. All right, there's the before. All right, and plug it back in. And there's the after. You can tell how much that lit it up. And again, you can't see everything here on the camera. There's Bonnie. She's enjoying the new lighting. All right, folks, we're about to wrap this one up. Thanks for tuning in, but feel free to leave a comment down below guessing on what our big surprise coming with the bonnie and clyde bass pond is going to be i'll let you guys know if you get it right we got a lot of cool things coming up we're going to be doing some turkey hunting quail hunting and last but not least chasing those old fat largies that are out there spawning but hope you all enjoyed this video and we will see you all next time bonnie and clyde were pretty looking people but i can tell you people they were the devil's children